You know, you hear a lot of talk about the, the Kumbu ice fall and its reputation. And we're talking, you know, millions and millions of tons of ice moving at six feet a day as it flows down. And unfortunately, there are a lot of people that have been killed in it over the years. What I learned today, climbing from Camp 2 to Camp 3 on Mount Everest, is that breathing at 23,000 feet is really hard, especially when you're going straight uphill on ice and snow. Don't try it at home. Base camp, base camp, this is a uh, Camp 3 view copy. Yeah, this is Andrew at base camp, I copy, how are you doing? Well, we're just, uh, we're trying to figure out what we're doing, whether we're moving up or staying or coming down. There's a, there's a lot of wind, especially moving up up high, but according to that last uh, weather report, uh, it should drop down by between 12 and 3. So I think we're gonna batten down the hatches and move up to the south call. Over. We're higher than any point outside the Himalayas. You know, any you know, higher than anything in North America, South America, Europe, the Antarctic, but everything else has just been cost of entry into the game of climbing Everest. We got up here last night after a very windy trip from Camp 3, but everyone made it safely, and so we are enjoying a rest day today. And now we're just trying to eat and breathe So we're here in this you know, precarious spot. We've got to be really careful how we move around. You know, our tents are, are staked out and tied in. And Andrew, did you copy that last transmission over? I copy, Brad. What's the uh, your set plan? If we're not moving up, uh, well, we're coming down. There's uh, no way around that. We don't have oxygen to spend another uh, day up here. Uh, we've got one shot over. Copy that, Brent. Hold tight. Uh, weather, weather's supposed to be changing soon. You guys are gonna make the push to the top. Here's the game plan. We've got a couple of hours just to, to kind of lie here and rest if you can sleep. Yeah, right. I'll, I'll be super impressed. That ain't happening for me. But we'll uh, we'll start to get ready in a, in a couple of hours, and um, we'll leave here at, at 10. That means we're getting ready in the dark and uh, we're leaving here at 10, maybe 9.30, and we'll, we'll just start climbing into the night and we'll be summiting at, at first light if, if everything goes well. They say that on a clear day at sea level, you can see for about 12 miles. 
today on top of Mount Everest, you can see for 1,200 miles. Everest was more than a mountain. It became tangible proof that I was still strong, that you know, cancer hadn't broken me down. Very, very powerful in that way for me and to be to be at the top of the world. To have that connection to, to a person and to a place. They told me I couldn't go on amazing journeys, but I have a special needs daughter. I see so many people, you know, that feel sorry for her or tell her that she can't do this or can't do that. But I want her to know that there's nothing that she can't be or can't do, that if she wants to go for any goal or any summit, it's there for her.